you did so much research going into this. Because this movie is such a different version of Emily Dickinson, it's really important to understand watching this movie that this was all thoroughly researched. It's based on the facts of these people's lives. A kind of common sense we've arrived at as a society where we understand certain things about human nature and we can't go back and pretend we don't know what we now know. But in terms of the research, first coming across the story and being so surprised because it was so different from anything I'd heard about Emily Dickinson. And I think I was just interested in doing a movie about Emily Dickinson that told the truth about her life. Yeah. That's what I was and I think we, we were kind of sold this narrative about her that's not true, that she was a spinster recluse who wanted her poems burned upon her death. She sat in a room in black and wrote about dead people. And, <laughs> like she was some kind of, you know, Morbid. heartbroken yeah. um, spinster. And, um, and it's so far from the truth about her real life and how lively she was. And I don't want to give away yeah, anything yeah. in the plot either, but I had been fed that narrative about her life and believed it. And Madeline and I were talking about that. And that kind of story about this woman made, you know, makes you read her poetry with, this certain, with these certain thoughts that doesn't really add up with the art. When you really hear the truth, it it gives the poems a whole new life and you look at them in a completely new way. Yes. You have a letter that refers to a poem in the paper, but then you look at the actual newspaper that printed that poem, learning things. It's kind of like a little bit detective work, but a lot of common sense. I did feel a great burden to get the story right.